Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in this video, I'm gonna show you something I've been asked for so many times in my comments. It's a waterproof Wego, and until now, that was never really an option. People would heat shrink them, you could wrap them with tape, but if you wanna have a true IPX8 rated connector that can be used up to its fully amped rating, this is the connector for you. This is Wego's newest offering called the Wego Gel Box. But just like everything else Wego does, this thing is completely different. I have never seen a product like this before. This Wego Gel Box, goes around the existing Wego connectors. So if you've already got a bunch of those things, you don't have to throw them out and buy a new type of connector. Here's how these gel boxes work. You simply open the box up and inside you've got this gel-like substance, but this stuff isn't liquid. It's not really a solid either. It's quite sticky, very rubberized, and you insert the Wego connector into the gel and simply close the box. Once you've heard the two clicks, that means the box is secure and this is a watertight connection. Now you're probably thinking there's no way this thing is really waterproof, so I'm gonna put this thing to the test right away. And please don't ever repeat any of the tests you're gonna see shown in this video. They're pretty crazy. I've got a small tank of water. To ensure that the water is completely conductive, I'm gonna add a huge amount of salt to it. First I used my meter set to a resistance rating to see what kind of measurement I would get, but for some reason this meter was not picking up anything. So I tried to add even more salt, but it made no difference at all. So I thought there might be something wrong with my meter, so I decided to bust up my fluke and measure it a second time. Now instantly this was picking up resistance, which tells me that the water is in fact conductive, so I can move on to the experiment. To see what happens with an unprotected connection, I'm gonna use the standard Wago 221 connectors, and I'm gonna split the wire that connects to this lamp. I'm gonna simply make the hot and the neutral connections, there's no ground on this small lamp, and then I'll insert it into the salt water and see what happens. Instantly, I'm starting to hear some funny things. You can see bubbles on the end of the connection because the circuit is getting shorted. But I did notice that this GFCI protector wasn't doing anything at all, and that's because it's lacking a ground. And these Wego 221s are getting cooked because they aren't waterproof. If these new gel boxes don't maintain a waterproof connection, I should instantly see some sizzling, maybe some bubbling, and I'll know that these boxes have failed. I'm gonna dry the wires and put some brand new Wego 221s on the connections. These gel boxes come in different sizes. You can of course get larger ones and put multiple connectors inside each one, but I would recommend getting the smallest size possible. So rather than just use a single box, I'm gonna use two different gel boxes. This doubles the amount of chances for a failure. It's very easy to use these things. You just clamp them over your existing Wego 221s, snap them closed, and now they should be instantly waterproof. Into the tank of water they go, and now I'll re-energize the circuit to see what happens. Now at the moment, nothing is happening inside this tank. I've actually brought the camera right up to it. I do not hear anything and I don't see any type of sizzling or any sort of bubbles. Now Wego's got the certification for IPX8 ratings as long as you follow the directions. That means you do need to ensure that you're putting the connectors in properly. And one thing you might notice is the wires themselves are protruding through the side of the connector. That's the part of this that I was really skeptical about because I couldn't quite understand how are the wires themselves getting encased in this gel. Here you can see that once I insert the connector, these boxes have quite a bit of gel inside and the Wego 221 is displacing the gel. That's pushing it everywhere around the connector, including the areas of the wires. So one thing you should note is this type of connection is not usable by itself. It doesn't replace a junction box. These can go inside of a junction box, but according to electric code, these wires need some sort of physical protection as well. If you're dealing with higher voltages, meaning the 120 volts inside your house, but there's plenty of locations that you don't need to have any physical protection, that's when you're going to use them for low voltage applications. If you've ever done any work on sprinklers, you know that there are solenoids and valves and they regularly break and eventually need to be replaced. In the old days, you used to use wire nuts filled with silicone. If you use these Wego 221s, it can be very different. It's not just about the looks. The reason you want to use these is because just like regular Wego 221s, they are replaceable and sort of repairable. If you need to make changes to the circuit in the future, you're not gluing them together with a type of epoxy. You can simply open the connector up, you can remove the Wego 221 connector and still save your connection. 
connections. Now there are places these things are not going to work. If you're going to hook up brake lights on your trailer, you could certainly put these there, but these are not going to be ideal. They're just too big. But if you're working somewhere around a boat, maybe you're doing a power pole in a marine environment, or you're doing an alarm system subject to super high humidity, now you can use these to get your waterproof connections, but you can repair them or change them in the future. These Wago gel boxes pretty much have an indefinite life. Now personally, I love these things because everybody wanted a waterproof connections, but they're not perfect. They're not the cheapest thing in the world, so you're going to reserve these for when you really need them. Now these gel boxes are actually not new. They've been in Europe for several years, but they were not approved to be used in the US until just this year. So I'm excited that these finally got approval here, and I think in some applications these things will be absolutely ideal. So I've linked the Wego website along with some specs. You can look at it in more detail, but I can tell you with 100% confidence in my testing here, these things are waterproof. And not perfect for everyone, but it's certainly innovative, and I think in some situations it will be ideal. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.